Today, an emergency bond motion was granted by the 36th District Court Judge Patricia Jefferson after hearing that 22-year-old Torian Hudson was arrested on new allegations of a domestic violence assault. I have to say that I am very concerned um, about these allegations. Hudson was arrested on January 30th after allegedly assaulting his pregnant girlfriend over the weekend. According to reports, she remains in serious condition. A neighbor who indicated that he observed the victim was bloody with bleach all over um, her body, that he heard the victim yell, he's trying to kill me. She remains in serious condition. The alleged attack happened as Hudson was out on a bond for attempted murder. Police say Hudson choked, robbed, and shot 19-year-old Kyla Moore in the neck at a Detroit gas station back on December 21st. That was just one day after Hudson allegedly assaulted the mother of his child. Hudson's initial bond was set at $1 million. However, it was lowered to $250,000 cash assurity by Judge Larry Williams Jr. Hudson was able to post bond after that. Based on the severity of the allegations, Judge Jefferson announced her decision. And defendant's bond is hereby revoked and the defendant is remanded into custody. I shared the news with Kyla's mom, Keita Moore, and she was relieved to hear the decision. Um, it brings me great solace to know that he is um, back behind bars and he can't be out here victimizing other young girls. Keita also called her daughter right away to yeah. share the news. After hearing this news that his bond has been revoked. Does that give you a sigh of relief? Yeah, I feel safe. Meanwhile, Kita would like to see a policy change when it comes to reducing bonds for violent offenders. It's not out. His bond was not lowered by this judge. This victim wouldn't be fighting for her life as my daughter was fighting for hers. Now, Hudson is currently charged with armed robbery, assault with intent to murder, carrying a concealed weapon, and felony firearm. His next court date is on April 10th. And, of course, you can find updates to this story and all others on WXYZ.com. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.